Start by running the display license command to check available resource control service licenses. If two dashes are displayed in item type, the item is a sales item and does not need to be activated. If function is displayed, the item is a function control license and does not require separate activation because it is already activated along with the license file. If resource is displayed, the item is a resource control license and needs to be activated. In description of a resource control license, if port enable RTU is displayed, the license is a hardware RTU license. Activating such a license was described in the previous video course. If port enable RTU is not displayed, the license is a resource control service license and needs to be activated. Typically, you should keep a record if there are many license types. Check resource license command line in the lower part of the display license command output. Locate the activation command corresponding to each recorded item, named in the format of LCR XXXX. The activation command varies according to the service. Enter the system view and then the license view. Run the activation command corresponding to each resource control service license to activate it for the ports or boards as planned. You can run the corresponding activation command with a question mark following the slot keyword to find out the slot IDs of the boards for which a license can be activated. After the activation is complete, you can run the display license resource usage command to view the overall activation result or the activation result by service. If the command output contains too much information, causing query inconvenience, you can open the log file stored locally for command output query. This is an example of a command output. Offline indicates the number of resources used by offline ports. For example, the boards where the ports reside are powered off. Allocated indicates the number of resources needed by ports that fail to have the service license activated because there are insufficient resources available even though the activation command has been run. In this case, the device reports an alarm. You will need to either replan the range of ports for which the service license is to be activated based on the number of available resources or apply to expand the license capacity. Activated indicates the number of resources used by the ports for which the service license is activated successfully. Available indicates the number of remaining resources of the license item. Check whether resource control service licenses are activated for ports as planned. If any port in the planned port range fails to have a resource control service license activated, return to the previous step and make necessary adjustments. If a resource control service license contains insufficient available resources for the device, check the total number of resources contained in the license purchase for the project. In this case, if the same license on other devices in the same project contains sufficient resources, you can contact Huawei engineers to split license resources by device. If the overall resources of the license are insufficient, contact the project sales personnel to purchase more resources.